Good morning from our second day here on the islands of Tokyo. Uh, right now it's around 3 a.m. and I am, as I said yesterday, at the viewpoint that we were at yesterday. And it probably doesn't show up on camera, but this is honestly the most beautiful starry sky that I've ever seen. You can actually see the Milky Way with the naked eye. Uh, it's so beautiful. I'm sorry if there's some background noise. I think there's some weird birds uh, around. But yeah, it's really, really beautiful. I'm gonna show you a picture so you can get an idea of how beautiful it looks like. But yeah, uh, Julie stayed in bed because she was tired. Uh, but yeah, this is really beautiful. So I have around maybe one and a half or two hours until sunrise. So I'm just going to shoot some frames, hopefully shoot a time lapse as well. And yeah, just enjoy this beautiful night sky all alone out here in the nature. All right, let's get to shooting. And as I said afterwards, we're gonna continue onwards to Nijima, which is somewhere in that direction, can't see it right now, but yeah, uh, okay, let's get to shooting. So welcome to Toshima Sunrise. I think there's a mosquito. Uh. There was a mosquito on the lens. But yeah, this is the same spot that we were at yesterday, at sunrise, and all the stars are gone. But I hope you like the starry sky, as I try not to get bitten to death by mosquitoes. Ooh, this was really beautiful. It's honestly the most beautiful starry sky I've seen. I've seen so many shooting stars, I've seen the Milky Way. I had like an app on my phone so I can watch all of the constellations. I've seen Venus, I've seen Mars. Um, Really beautiful, and yeah, right now I'm just waiting for a little bit of light to catch on to these kind of rocks. Hopefully in the next 10 minutes, because I have to leave by maybe like 5.15 from here uh, in the morning, because I have to go back. And we have breakfast at like 6.30, and then we have a very early ferry at 6.30, as I said, to this island over here, Nijima. It takes around like 45 minutes or so. And yeah, the plan for today is just to check into our new um, hotel. Uh, Minshuku. Uh, I think we're staying at a guest house actually, so we don't have dinner this time included. But Nijima is much more developed than this island, so they have a lot more restaurants and places to buy food in general, supermarkets and stuff. And yeah, then we're just gonna go get some rental bicycles, because um, they don't have rental bicycles here, but they do have over there. And then we're just gonna check, uh, explore the island, hopefully go for a nice beach today, because the weather looks amazing today as well. So we're probably gonna go swim and yeah, explore a little bit around the island. They also have a hot spring that's right at the ocean for free, which is really cool. So you can kind of take a dip into the hot spring and then go dip into the ocean and the hot spring ocean and kind of alternate between those. So that's gonna be really cool as well. But yeah, right now, just hope for a little bit more light and then go back to the hotel, uh, wake up Judy and continue on to the next island.
welcome to Nijima. Yay. Not a particularly interesting spot to introduce the island because I'm just standing next to vending machines. But <laughs> we've just made it uh, off the boat, fresh off the boat. We got our Red Bull bicycles here, we got our rental gear. And this definitely feels a lot more, well, kind of developed. What you can see behind me is actually a supermarket. It also has a 100 yen store inside, so it's very developed. <laughs> and yeah, I think for now it's like 9 in the morning, so of course we're gonna go for a swim. We got everything, we're mobile now. We don't have to walk for like five kilometers to get anywhere. And yeah, I think we're just gonna go for a swim. The, this island has a lot nicer beaches than the other one. And Julie, as I said, it's, or has already been here twice, so she's gonna show, you, show us all of the nice beaches. You ready? No. I'll see. Now at our first beach of the day. I forgot the name of it, but I'll put it down below. Um, it is basically right next to the onsen, uh, which is a 24 hours open outdoor hot spring bath that's completely free um, that you can enter with your bath bathing suit. And it is located right next to the ocean, so you can kind of go into the ocean, go into the onsen, go into the ocean, do like ocean and then hot spring between and everything. Pretty cool, pretty cool place. Uh, I think you saw the, the fish underwater. It has some some fish, not a lot of them, but a decent amount of fish. And yeah, otherwise it's just really beautiful. You have this huge tall rock behind me, and you can actually climb up to as well. And it's just another really beautiful, perfect day. Blue skies, clouds, the ocean. Ah, as long as it continues this way for the next few months, that would be nice. Does not include as you 
Judy is hopefully gonna wake up soon and then we're gonna be able to leave. We are right now in the in the hot springs that I mentioned, and these are completely free hot springs. It's really hot, but you get this beautiful view uh, out on the ocean over here, so you can kind of swim in this pool and have a really nice view. And also over there, there are some pools that are down as well. Okay, it's a pretty cool place. It's just right next to the beach that we were actually swimming uh, in the morning, but we thought in the morning it's kind of too hot to really go yeah, for hot springs. That's why I came here. Start feeling a little bit colder. Wind is also blowing, so yeah, good time to get uh, dip into hot springs. And yeah, uh, I guess we're just gonna chill out a little bit, and then afterwards we're gonna go back to the uh, city or back nearer towards our, our guest house, and then gonna go for dinner at the sushi place. Hopefully, we haven't reserved yet. I hope that they're open. Otherwise, it's gonna be some other place. So yeah, let's hang out a little bit more. Enjoy the enjoy the hot springs. And I'll show you the dinner footage and I guess it's gonna be it for today's vlog. And as I said, tomorrow we're going to the neighboring island over, um, what is it called? To Shikinejima, which has probably one of the nicest beaches in all of, the, all of these islands. So I hope that the weather is good and we can see that beach. And yeah, then we have the afternoon to spend on this island again. Not sure what we're gonna do, but something. But yeah, let's, let's chill a little bit.